क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम इकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक फील्ड थ्योरी वी आर इन चैप्टर नंबर 4 एनर्जी एंड पोटेंशियल अप टिल नाउ इन दिस चैप्टर वी हैव गॉन थ्रू द कांसेप्ट्स लाइक एनर्जी एक्सपेंडेड इन मूविंग अ पॉइंट चार्ज इन द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड ऑफ सर्टेन अनदर सोर्स चार्ज व्हिच आल्सो कॉल्ड एज वर्क डन on this concept we have solved three problems after that we have gone through the concept of what exactly the potential difference is absolute potential we term that potential to be the electric scalar potential afterwards we have gone through the concept of potential gradient the gradient what we exactly learned in chapter number 1 we had the representation with the del operator vector spatial differential operator we have solved the problems using the formula of gradient in cartesian coordinate system in cylindrical coordinate system and in spherical coordinate system now we have the concept electric dipole now to read the term electric dipole as we are in electrostatic the electric is okay after that what is dipole so di means two and pole we have so two kinds of polarities that are closely spaced so that is called as dipole so more specifically we will first of all draw the diagram what exactly the electric dipole is and will analyze the effect of this electric dipole at the field point because generally in electric field there is something a charge it may be having a point charge form it may be having a uniform distribution over a line uniform distribution over a surface uniform distribution over a volume uniform distribution over a certain ring or a disk or a hollow disk okay so for the electric field because of certain source charges we analyze the effect on to the field point okay so here also we will be having a certain source of charge and the field point now the source of charge will be a pair of two oppositely charged having the same magnitude point charges so let us see so for diagram purpose we take the help of three axes z axis y axis here and x axis so we know that x axis in positive y axis in positive z axis in positive we have this representation the intersecting in the origin o okay now for electric dipole the definition can be done dipole is the name given to pair of charges okay it is a pair of two charges of equal magnitudes but opposite signs they are separated by a very small distance here we will denote it by small d okay and which is very small as compared to the distance between the source charge pair and the field point what we generally take to be small r okay so distance from the field point to the source charges we have to take from the center of the pair of charges so as we take a d to be the distance of separation between these two point charges we say there are two charges positive q and negative q positive q is at 0, 0, d by 2 so 0 units on x axis 0 units on y axis and d by 2 d by 2 units on to the z axis okay so here should be the plus q so q is in coulombs now we have to plot minus q so minus q is supposed to have the location 0 comma 0 comma minus d by 2 so 0 units on x axis 0 into on y axis and minus d by 2 on y on z axis so here it is minus q i put the location 0 comma 0 comma minus d by 2 here also 0 comma 0 comma positive d by 2 so with d by 2 and minus d by 2 for plus q and minus q the distance of separation from this point to this point it will be simply d okay so d is the distance of separation between 
two charges they have same magnitude but opposite polarity and d distance of separation so what is r for r we have to consider a field point into the space let us say this is point p and the distance r is the center of this pair so what we have considered here to be the origin so this is the distance r generally we take the vector from source charge to field point going outward so r r cap we can say okay so here we have the pair of charges and from the center we have r now the lines joining the first charge and second charge to the point p also we have to consider so here i can draw a line joining plus q charge to the field point p then minus q charge to the field point p so here we can give the representations capital r1 capital r2 so capital r1 from plus q to point p capital r2 from minus q to point p and small r i rewrite it here from origin o which is center of this pair to the point p now in this chapter energy and potential we have gone through the concept of electric scalar potential we have measured the electric scalar potential at the field point so field point location we have taken this one so as we have pair of charges there must be certain potential let us say v1 because of plus q charge there may be another potential effect v2 because of minus q charge also so the net or effective potential at the field point p because of this pair of charge okay we shall be writing so here i mentioned d a distance of separation okay so marking here so i rewrite here capital v to be the potential so because of the positive q charge we will be writing q upon 4 pi epsilon 0 capital r1 capital r1 is the distance of separation from positive q to field point p we have to add the potential because of negative q also so i put negative sign here q upon 4 pi epsilon 0 capital r2 okay so here the addition of the potential due to positive q charge and potential due to negative two charge negative q charge we have done so it will be like this now q upon 4 pi epsilon 0 is common but r1 and r2 are different okay r1 and r2 are the distances joining the positive q and negative q with the potential at field point p though they are approximately having same length but a small difference is there so the formula for v can be rewritten as q upon 4 pi epsilon 0 taken outside as constant in the bracket we have r2 minus r1 upon r1 into r2 and as this is potential i must be writing the unit in terms of volts so this can be the generalized expression for potential due to electric dipole practically the electric dipole occurs at atomic level hence the distance of separation from positive q and negative q is very very small as compared to the distance from the charges to the field point p so here i have rewrote read on the diagram this is r1 this is r2 and this is small r okay and this is the distance of separation between positive q and negative q so just now we have added the potentials at field point p due to positive charge and negative charge we got this expression so this potential v is dependent on r2 minus r1 difference and r1 into r2 the product now because of the comparison of distance d with r1 r and r2 approximately we can write r1 approximately equal to r2 approximated to small r also the product implies r1 into r2 that is nothing but r square so with these changes okay for the diagram uh, we take the help of one angle so the angle made by 
the direction going from negative charge to the positive charge let us say towards positive z and the segment joining the center of this dipole with the field point to be theta here so in that case we can take the difference that is r1 minus r2 approximated to small d cosine of theta so for the denominator of that expression we will be using r square and for the numerator we will be using d cos theta so in place of r2 minus r1 we will be using d cos theta and r1 r2 the product we will be using r square so further we can generalize it v is equal to q into d cos theta upon 4 pi epsilon 0 r square and the unit will be in volts. So this is the generalized expression for potential at the field point P due to the pair of charges what we say electric dipole. Now if we know the potential in the last topic that is potential gradient we have the relation with electric field intensity vector capital E bar. Okay. So finding the electric field intensity at the field point due to this pair of charges what we say electric dipole we will be using the relation capital E bar is equal to minus gradient V that means minus potential gradient. Now here we will be using the location of the point P field point P in terms of spherical coordinates R comma theta comma phi that is why we will be using the gradient formula in spherical coordinate system so it will be given by minus in bracket minus outside bracket in bracket we have del v by del r ar cap plus 1 by r del v by del theta a theta cap plus 1 upon r sin theta del v by del phi a phi cap. Now we have the expression of capital V that is potential at the point P due to the electric dipole. So we will be using it so minus outside the bracket and for the first term we have the partial differentiation of V with respect to R. So we shall be writing del del R in again bracket q into d cos theta upon 4 pi epsilon 0 r square bracket complete a r cap so this will be the first term for the second term we have 1 by r and partial differentiation of v with respect to theta so here we make 1 by r del del theta of q d cos theta upon 4 pi epsilon 0 r square bracket complete a theta cap similarly the third term will be 1 upon r sin theta 1 upon r sin theta del del phi of q d cos theta upon 4 pi epsilon 0 r square a phi cap okay so we get the electric field intensity in this form we take the partial differentiation and make it more simplified hence we get capital E bar electric field intensity vector is equal to minus in bracket the first term minus Q D cos theta upon 2 pi epsilon 0 R cube A R cap plus the second term will be Q D minus sin theta adds it was the partial differentiation with respect to theta in the denominator we have 4 pi epsilon 0 r cube and this will be along with the unit vector a theta cap hence we write electric field intensity e bar is equal to q d upon 4 pi epsilon 0 r cube to be the constant outside the bracket in the bracket we have toys cos theta a r cap plus sin theta a theta cap sin theta a theta cap bracket complete 
as electric field intensity we measure either in newtons per coulomb which is force upon charge or we give the generalized unit in SI system volts per meter. So this is the expression for electric field intensity due to the electric dipole. Now electric dipole we have just now learned if the pair of charges are situated on let us say this line. So here it is minus Q and here it is plus Q. Okay. So at point let us say capital P1 okay, which is equidistant from point Q minus Q and plus Q. So we have the lines joining the P1 to these charges to have same length. So I join them minus Q to P1 plus Q to P1. So let us say this is R1. This is R2. If this is equidistant, these are having same length. Similarly, if you take another point which is also equidistant from positive Q and negative Q. So I have to say this is R1 dash. This is R2 dash. They also have same length for point P2. Now if we collect all such points that are equidistant from the two pair charges. So it is a plane. It is a plane intersecting the middle, intersecting the center of the pair of charges of the electric dipole. So we get that plane to be having the same kind of potential because the potential depends on the distance of separation from the source charge to the field point. So we can say this plane to be the equipotential surface, equipotential surface. So here because of plus Q and minus Q the net potential V will be equal to zero. So for electric dipole we have seen the expression for potential at the field point P because of this pair of charges that is electric dipole. Also we have gone through the simple expression for electric field intensity represented by capital E bar at the field point again P because of this pair of charges. We have also discussed about the equipotential surface which passes through the center of this electric dipole. It means the pair of electric charges separated by small distance uh, by distance D. So the equipotential surfaces passes from it. Now one more term we have to discuss about the electric dipole. That term is called as dipole moment. Practically, the electric dipole occurs at atomic levels. So at atomic levels, in the exact definition of magnitude of the charges, the separation between them cannot be done. Hence, thereupon we define the term dipole moment. Now, the dipole moment is actually the product of magnitude of the charges and the separation between them. Hence, it is defined at the center of the dipole. So for the diagram purpose, we draw this line where the two charges positive Q and negative Q are situated. Somewhere here, we take the field point. We again the join positive and negative charges to field point P. We represent them R1, R2. This is the center of electric dipole. And here we are going to define the term dipole moment. Now in earlier diagram we have denoted the line joining point P with that of the center of the dipole that is R and have used the angle theta. So this is the angle theta which is angle between the line going from minus Q to plus Q and the segment R. Okay. So here depending on theta the dipole moment should be a directional hence the dipole moment I say it is a vector. So as per the definition it is the product of magnitude of the charges and the separation distance D. Hence as per the definition of electric dipole moment we can say it is the product of magnitude of the charges and the distance of separation. So simply we can write 
small p for dipole moment is equal to capital Q into small d. Capital Q is the magnitude and small d is the distance of separation. Now we have also discussed that the potential because of the electric dipole depends on the angle theta. Theta is the angle between the two sides, one side for minus uh, charge to plus charge going and another is the line joining the center of the dipole with the field point. Hence we have to consider the direction here. So I make D bar here and dipole moment P bar here. So dipole moment is given as P bar is equal to Q into D bar as Q is measured in coulombs and D in uh, distance that is length. So here we put the unit coulomb meter. So this is for the dipole moment. Now using this formula for dipole moment V what initially we used to represent QD cosine of theta upon 4 pi epsilon 0 r square we use the dipole moment representation here so V will be P bar dot of AR cap upon 4 pi epsilon 0 r square in terms of volts. So using the concept of dipole moment here we have dot product of dipole moment P bar with AR cap. AR cap is the unit vector going from center of the dipole towards the field point P. So here we take the dot product and in the denominator we have the same. So QD cos theta we have got replaced with P bar dot of AR cap. So this was dipole electric dipole and dipole moment based on to the concept in the next video we are going to solve certain problems thank you